one of these things again. I heard. Aratak told me about Araya. I'm... I'm sorry, Nalto. No apologies. Aratak said that in the end, she was... filled with the blue light. She got what she always wanted, didn't she? Each time I doubt my way forward, I think I should seek her guidance. And then I remember. The only guidance I'll receive is my own. Which will have to be good enough. There's much to do. The Fireclaws. Aratak asked me to help hunt them down. It's a dire task, but it occupies my attention, so I suppose I'm grateful for it. My scouts have tracked them across the cut. I've already found the Fireclaws, Naltuk. It's over. That's it, then. That's the last of the Damon's work washed away. The last notes of Aurea's song sung. The cut is a safer place to live because of what you've accomplished. And now it's time to start anew. I'm glad I could be a part of it. As are we all, Aloy. Thank you.
each other again. If, if I didn't know any better, I'd think you were She'll following me. She never falters. But... A Warak chieftain from the Nora. Strange omens. What do you make of it, Shaman? My thoughts on this are... clouded. I must... take in the smoke of burnt wires to clear them. We are of the White Teeth, come down from the jawbone of Banur to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No. It is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. Aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters? In time. As months pass, the meltwater often carries the bodies out. <sighs> Unbelievable. If there's a chance they're alive, then I'll look for them. Even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid, Outlander. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. I'll give this to the Osram. What? I think I found one of the hunters. Outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so. Damn. They need metal too. But my need is greater. Nick don't accept help. Is it true? <laughs> they don't. I do.
An outlander. Chieftain of a Warak. It's stranger in the cut than I thought. You're telling me. You fight well. I am a Kree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. So let's get her back to the Werak. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival... Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. Come. Up. That's where we're going. Frozen globe and oh, all the winter. It keeps many things coming at once. But it won't have her. Not if we can help it. Let's go. While there's light. More up? We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. Let's go. There. She's passed out again. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it. Now, this won't be easy, Aloy. I can feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She is awake. <sighs> this outlander. You bored her here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you. The ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive! Which would you rather keep, my Lin? Your leg, or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. <clears throat> Alone. <clears throat> no! Let me do this. Please, let her. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday.
I never accepted your help. It's the Werak you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the Werak. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. We have so many ways to express a grudge, and only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them, who left her to die. And I don't belong with... Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? The Warwick. That I fell. And that she endured. Will you? you have something to say about this? I do. Then convince me what an outlander's word is worth. If this was a test of her endurance, I'd say she's endured more than many could bear. She put your Werak above all else. That was what kept her going, through the pain, and through the loss of a friend. She survived for you. Don't turn her away. She is a fine teller. There is a place for my land with the white teeth. I do not dispute it. Outlander. So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's... gone. She sounded brave. Her name... will always be in my song. Come to test yourself? <laughs> Why else would you be out here? Training again so soon, Akri? Never met a hunter who wished they'd trained less. I guess I'm not in any hurry to go back to Benor. Not yet. Do you want to talk about it? What happened at the glacier? No, I'd rather fight through it. Take it in my teeth and be left with the taste of determination. How about you, Aloy? Up for a challenge? What kind of challenge? A competition? No, together. We'll use the hunting grounds, but my rules. Lovak's fine with it. We'll take in as little as possible. My sling, your bow. You draw the machines to me so I can freeze them. And then you hit them when they're brittle. We'll fight until we run out of machines, or you run out of arrows. That's the challenge. Honestly, I'm more used to fighting alone. And I'm more used to fighting alongside another. So put your spear beside mine, why don't you? You freeze them, I shoot them. Doesn't seem so hard. Really? Then you'll only need half as many arrows as I'd planned to give you. B wait. It shows I trust your aim. Do you trust mine? <sighs> You've really got to work for a Banuk challenge, don't you? 
That's the spirit. Come on, let's drop off our gear and go. Aloy, lure the machines back here and I'll freeze them. Don't worry, I don't miss. Then I target them when they're vulnerable. Got it. Another battle? Do better. Let's keep going. That look easy. Here, you've earned this. Who taught you? Your mother? Sister? His name was Rost. Rost. Sounds very Nora. I can almost picture him. Stout as a tree. And you? Myself. I never knew my parents. There's a saying, an infant means too fewer hands to hunt with. That challenge was their gift to me. It was a good challenge, Shakri. Think I should settle down? Start a hunting ground of my own? I think you could do whatever you put your mind to. Let's not say farewell. I've had enough of that to last me a dozen winters. I hope your song finds its proper end. But it won't be easy, will it? Is it that obvious? Fate's a long climb on a high cliff for people like you and me. These new hunters are so eager to prove their worth, but the...